Hi guys, welcome back to the channel today. My name is Osere Meh and if you're here for the first time, thank you so much for stopping by. On the channel today, I'm going to be sharing with you how to make a simple wrap dress. So this yellow dress was my initial inspiration. This is what I wanted to recreate. But in the course of the video, I realized that the fabric I had was not enough. So I made this with one and a half yard of fabric. So if you're interested in making this for yourself, which is what I came up with, you need at least one and a half yard or two yards of fabric, depending on your size. For this, which has the pleating and the post slip, you need nothing less than three yards or three and a half yards of fabric. But inside the video, I explain how you can sew this if this is the one you're interested in. Or if you're interested in my own, it's also well explained in the tutorial. So if you're interested in learning how to make a simple wrap dress, please keep on watching and let's get started with the video. So guys, this is the fabric I'm going to be working with for this tutorial. I have one and a half yard of crepe right here. So that's why I ended up making this instead of this yellow with gathers and bishop sleeve. But anyways, the same procedure is what you use to make the two of them. I'm just going to be explaining how you can make the yellow if that is the one you're interested in. So the first thing you're going to go ahead and do is to fold your fabric into two, just like you see me doing like this. So after making this fold, you're going to take the measurement you have from this point to the end and you're going to ensure that it's up to your hip measurement divided by 4 and also you have some allowances around it as well. So when I was sure of that, I went ahead to cut that part off as you can see and then the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is to measure the full length I want this dress to be. So I'm taking the full length I want the dress to be. I actually want it to be 33 inches. So I'm marking that right now. So I made the mark up here and I'm just going to extend that line all the way to the end. And I'll go ahead and cut it out. So now I'm going ahead to cut away this border because it's not needed. I didn't take my measurements to that end. So now this is what I'm going to be using to cut out the back first. So we're cutting out the back first and we're taking this top area here as the shoulder. So from the shoulder down to my bust point is 10 inches. So instead of marking 10 inches, because I'm working on my actual fabric, I am marking 10 and a half inches. So that I will use the half inch to stitch it at the shoulder later. Then I came down to my waistline, which is 15. But I'm marking 15 and a half and then my hip point which is 21 I'm marking 21 and a half so after that I just went ahead to extend my points with a ruler so the next thing I want to go ahead and do is to come to this area here this shoulder and I'm going to mark my neckline so I want it to be three inches wide but because we are working on our actual fabric I'm just going to cut this out by th two and a half so I went in by two and a half and I'm going to go down by one and a half inch so two and a half on this side one and a half inch here and I'm just going to connect it to give me my neck curve so after getting the next line the next thing you want to do is from the middle of the back again you're going to divide your shoulder measurement by two and I'm going to add half inch to that for stitching allowance. So instead of seven, which is my shoulder measurement divided by two, I marked seven and a half here. So after that, I'm going to come down by half of an inch. Normally I'll go down by one inch, but again, because we are working on the actual fabric, I am just adding, removing half inch from everything so that I'll be able to use them to stitch it down together later. So I came down by half of an inch here. So this is what we have. The next thing is you're going to divide your bust measurement by 6 and add 1.5 to whatever that gives you. So that gave me 7 inches and I just made a point there. So I'm going to connect from this shoulder here down to this point here like this. And then I will extend it to the side as well. So the next thing I'm going to do is on this line here. I'm going to divide my bust measurement by 4. So go ahead and divide your bust measurement by 4 and make a point there. Then the next thing you're just going to connect this into the armhole line with a curve just like you see me doing like this. Now on this bust line here, 
just like you did on this line here your bust measurement divided by four like we've already marked it here so i'm going to go ahead and add one and a half inch to that for stitching allowance and i also did the same thing on the bust line as well so the chest line and the bust line we have exactly the same thing then now on the waistline i'm going to come down here my waist measurement div divided by four here but i don't want it to be so tight so i'm extending it a little bit to seven and a half then i'll add my stitching allowance and mark it here so the next thing is on this hip line you are going to divide your hip measurement by four which is nine for me so i'm going to now add my stitching allowance which is one and a half inch and next thing i'm going to do is to connect all these points with a curve so like i always say if your curve is not this shaped it doesn't mean that you're not on the right track it just means that we have different body measurements so when you're done with this the next thing you're just going to go ahead and do is to cut it out along the white lines following the procedure you see me doing like this so guys this is it for the back piece so i'm going to be using this now to cut out the front but before i do that i've already folded my fabric into two for the front and i went ahead to make a straight line across here so from this line to the end of the fabric i have three inches i have only three inches here because the fabric i'm working with is very little so if you are doing yours make sure that your own has at least four inches to five inches after the line so mine is three inches because i'm small i can get away with it but if you are a bigger person please ensure that you have at least four to five inches after the line so with that being said as you can see i'm placing the back pattern of it on that line here ensuring that it's exactly on that line and next thing i'm going to do is to extend this waistline which is the middle line outside like this so after drawing that line across we are going to come to this neckline i'm just going to make a point from the end of my neckline so from this point i'll connect straight to the waistline just look at how i'm doing it like this so this is going to be the neckline for the front so i'm going to be cutting this line so now we're just going to place the back piece back on it like this and i'm just going to cut out every other part of it exactly as it is except the neckline so this is what i had after i was done cutting it out so now i'm going to make a curve on the front to get that curve that you see in front of my dress so i'm using my hip curve i just made a straight like a curved line with my hip curve here if you don't have your hip curve you can go ahead and use your free hand i even ended up not following it exactly when i was cutting it so this is how it is this is just simply how to cut a wrap dress um the front part of a wrap dress so this is the front so you can see how it has that wrap effect already so this is basically it for the front piece you can see how it has that curvy effect on that so now we're just going to go ahead and start joining our pieces together so guys i placed the back piece down i've opened it up and as you can see i'm placing the front on it right sides facing each other ensuring that the shoulders are matching perfectly just like you see me doing like this ensuring that the shoulder and armhole are matching perfectly so when you're true arranging it like this you're going to go over to the sewing machine and you're going to go ahead and stitch down this shoulder here and here so it's all stitched down and i went ahead to iron it out and this is what i have so um the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is leave this aside and i'm going to go ahead and cut out the sleeve so we're not going to be using the sleeve that is on this yellow although the yellow was my inspiration we're not going to be using that because this is all the fabric i had left so if you actually want to make exactly that yellow dress you will need three yards of fabric but if you're making like my own for someone as small as i am you will need one and a half yard which is what i'm using to make this dress right now so i opted for a straight sleeve instead of a sleeve with a rubber under so i'm just going ahead to cut out the sleeve i already have a video on the channel on how to draft a basic sleeve so this is just an easy way i do it so i'm just going to be explaining to you guys if you in case you want to follow this procedure instead so i'm drawing a straight line across and after doing that i'm i'm coming down by four inches 
and then i will go in by four inches as well and when you're through with that you're going to come down and mark the full length you want your sleeve to be but ensure that you add at least one inch for stitching allowance and then i came down here to mark my elbow line so after marking all those lines i'm just making the curve just like you see me doing like that just like this very simple curve like this so when you're through with that you're going to on this point here divide your upper arm measurement by two and mark it on this elbow line divide your elbow measurement by two and mark it and then come to the end of the sleeve and also mark that divided by two so i just did it this is just an easy way i draft my sleeve but if you are not understanding this just go ahead and watch my basic sleeve tutorial so i'm just going to go ahead now and cut this out so after i was through with that this is all i have left so this is definitely not going to be enough for the pleats that i have on this yellow dress which was my inspiration so first of all we're going to leave that aside and we're going to work on the sleeve so right now i'm just going to go ahead and place my sleeve right here you see i've already made a mark at the middle of my sleeve i'm placing it right here on the shoulder line that i had on the joining i had on the shoulder so i'll go ahead and stitch this all the way around like this and i will do it for the both arms so guys it's all stitched down and i also went ahead to iron it out and this is what it looks like so i went ahead to do the same thing for the other side as well so now the next thing i want to go ahead and do is to turn this over to the right to the wrong side sorry we're going to turn it over to the wrong side and we are going to go ahead and walk on the sides and join the sides together so guys before we join the sides we're going to work on the sleeve first so i'll go in by half of an inch and fold it in again like this and when i'm through with that that's when i'll go ahead and stitch the side down remember that i gave this dress a one and a half inch stitching allowance and when i was cutting the sleeve too i forgot to tell you guys that i actually also added one and a half inch stitching allowance to the sleeve so i'm going to use that one and a half inch now to stitch the sides together so guys this is what it looks like after i was done stitching down the sides from the armhole area all the way to the ends of the dress so this is what it looks like so the next thing we're going to go ahead and do now is we're going to work on this neckline so i am just going to fold it in once like this and fold it in again and i'm going to do this all the way around the neckline just the neckline for now so guys i'm done stitching down the neckline and this is how nice it looks so this part here if you want to add the pleating just like it is on the yellow you can go ahead and fold in a fabric that is like four inches wide so if it's four inches wide that means by the time you fold it into two it will give you two inches so you just go ahead and make the gathers all the way around this area here but for me i'm not going to be using that i'm not making pleats because like i said i don't have enough fabric so i'm just going to fold it in just like i did on the neckline all the way around so guys this is how beautiful this came out after i was done stitching it down if you've gone ahead to do your pleats as well it will look really nice trust me it's even finer with the pleats so now the next thing you want to go ahead and do is work on the ropes to use and tie this around the waist so one thing i went ahead to do on the side is i initially forgot i went ahead to stitch this side all the way to the end but i had to make a hole here on the waist for the rope to pass through so go ahead and make a tiny rope on one side of the waist for your rope to pass through so when you're through with that now it's time to use the tiny piece we have left to cut out our rope so guys i cut out four pieces of this particular rope we are going to take the measurement later so i'm just pinning these two down to give me one because i want it to be long so when you're two pinning it down if you have one straight fabric go ahead and use your one straight fabric but because i'm working with a tiny piece that's why i'm joining this so this is for one side let's go ahead and check out the measurement so this side here i have three inches so by the time i fold it in to be about one and a half inch and then for the length i have one yard and 11 inches so this is just enough for one side so i will use this for the other side as well so i will join it just like the same way i'm going to join this side here and then fold it in so after i was done with that this is what it looks like and you can see the joining right there so i went ahead to stitch down one end and left the other end open so from this end i stitched down i'm going to just use my scissors to put it in and bring out the rope 
so after i was through with that this is what i had i went ahead to iron in my robes and it came out really nicely so now we are going to place our robes on these points that we have here so you're going to place your rope like this on this side here and you're just going to go ahead and pin it down so also for the other side i'll go ahead and place the rope here just like i did on the other side just at the end of the neckline here and i'm going to pin it down so i'll go over to the sewing machine and stitch it down here and i'll do the same thing for the other side as well so after i was done with that this is how nicely it came out so now we're going to pass one of the rope the one on the other side through the hole that we created earlier can you see so we're going to pass it through this place like this and then the other one is going to go through all the way through to the back and come across to now cover it in so this is me just trying to arrange my rope and just tie this up so this is actually it for this tutorial this is how to make a simple rat dress i hope that you find this tutorial helpful thank you so much for watching so here is a beautiful picture of how mine looked after i was done making it i hope that you find this video helpful thank you so much for watching and i will be seeing you guys in my next tutorial bye